Kuzu Zambula and hello everyone. Right now I'm here at Kaura Japanese Garden which is about 200 kilometers away from Canberra and it takes uh, around 2 hours 20 minutes by car to drive all the way here. This garden symbolizes the goodwill and strong relationship between the people of Japan and the Kaura Shire. It is considered as the biggest Japanese garden here in the Southern Hemisphere. The garden was designed by the famous Japanese garden designer Ken Nakajima who designed several other iconic Japanese gardens around the world. We are here to explore the new world of Japanese. So let's see how the we can feel the bike. Let's see the bike here. Hi guys. And this garden was built in the memory of 231 Japanese soldier who died in the incident of In Japan, it is believed that once your life ends, you must return to your birthplace for burial. In 1960, the Japanese government came to a decision to bring all their war dead across Australia to be reburied here at Kaura. And this garden is built on the same area where it was once a Japanese prisoner of war campsite during the Second World War. The six elements incorporated in the design of this garden are mountains, rocks, pine trees, waterfalls, lakes and river growing into oceans. One of the biggest event here at the Kaura Garden is the Sakura Matsuri which is Cherry Blossom Festival, an annual event held in September every year. It marks the arrival of spring. This year the festival will be held on 28th September and for that the tickets are available on their website.
I am fascinated with the garden and coming here gave me a sense of peace and calmness from the busy lifestyle. The design and the landscape are extraordinary and I'm glad to be here to witness this magnificent historical place. I like the concept of small streams coming from the high mountains to pristine pine forest with enchanting waterfall joining rivers and then forming into lakes and finally flowing into massive oceans. Kaura Japanese Garden is open every day from 8.30 am to 5 pm in the evening except on Christmas day. You can also visit cultural center, cafe and gift shop. The garden also charges tickets for all except for children under 5 years old. Once again, I'm very much grateful to all my viewers for showing your support and please subscribe to watch more videos and have a great weekend.